Hello everyone, welcome to another video. And the idea for this video actually came from my website from the wishlist page. So there is a question if I can create a script which can automatically place dimension uh, from the middle of the elements to the closest wall. And actually I never played with dimensions before. So I wanted to see how easy or how hard it is to automatically create dimensions uh, in Dynamo. And I did create a very simple test project. So I have three ducts. Uh, those are uh, rectangular ducts. Uh, I have four walls and I have four grids. And for me, when you want to create dimensions from some element to the middle of some other element, it is okay when you have round elements. So if we are talking about round ducts or pipes, then it's okay. You will uh, place dimensions to the middle of the element, but when you have a rectangular duct, I will not place uh, dimensions uh, to the middle of the element. I will place dimension uh, to the closest side. Also, when we are talking about the reference, I would always try in my projects to give um, dimensions from the grid to the element or from the structural column to the element. Uh, but if I must place a dimension from the wall to the element, uh, I will do that if I know that uh, wall is a concrete. So if the client in a couple of years say, okay, we now need to make adaptation of the building and we will destroy some walls and create some new ones. If that is a concrete wall, probably it will not be uh, demolished. So you need to take care when you're placing those dimensions uh, from the walls uh, from which material is that wall. But okay, let's see what we can do from Dynamo regarding those uh, dimensions. So I did create some script. It has two parts. So this upper part needs to deal with situation when you want to make a dimension between the duct and the wall. And this part down here will make dimensions between the ducts and the grids. So right away, I need to tell you that I for this script, I will use this generic uh, dimension by element node. And the important thing which you should know uh, regarding this node is that uh, this node will uh, demand from you to provide some view in which you want to create those dimensions to provide a reference element. So from one side, if we are talking about the grids and the ducts, you will need to provide a list of ducts and a list of grids. And also you will need to provide some reference line on which you want to place those dimensions. And there is no other options uh, to influence on this uh, node. And why I'm saying that? Because this node will always create dimension between the center of the one element to the center of the other element, uh, which is okay for the grids and the ducts, but it is not okay for the walls and the ducts. I will show you what, what I mean by that. So I disconnected uh, this link over here. I want to go first with the ducts and grids. I'll hit run. And now we can see that we have dimension between the grid and the duct. So if I change the position of the duct, my dimension will also change. Also, if I change this grid, that dimension will follow. And this is okay because middle of the grid, it's actually the grid itself. And you will say that you want to go to the middle of the element. That is also okay. So over here we have uh, distance between the duct and the closest grid. I will show you later how I did determine which grid is closest to the duct. Also over here we have dimension and also over here and everything is okay. Now I will delete those dimensions and now I will run the script which will use walls and ducts as a reference. And now if we hide for a moment grids now you can see that actually uh, dimension as a reference will have middle of the duct and middle of the wall which i hope you will not use in your project so there is not an option inside the dynamo which will basically tell to this node that uh, okay now i'm using the walls do not use that uh, center of the wall reference took internal phase as a reference 
So with these uh, generic nodes, you cannot do that. With uh, the nodes from uh, Genius Locky package, uh, there is a chance that you can do that. I mean, you, you can absolutely do that for the wall, but it is hard to reference side of the duct. I will give it some try and I will let you know. So if you are using a uh, wall as a reference, of course, when you move this wall, this dimension will follow. But again, I think that this is not uh, something which you will use. And again, I suggest that you use a uh, grid as a reference when you want to create automatic uh, dimensions from the Dynamo. So now I will show you my entire Dynamo script. So I will disable this part for ducts again and connect this part over here. So let's start with the walls and then I'll show you what is the difference between the walls and grids. So first of all, we need to pick up all elements regarding the ducts, all elements regarding the walls. So in total, we have three ducts and four walls. We will convert uh, both categories and all elements to solids. We will flat all those elements and then we will deliver those solids to the geometry distance too. It is a cross product uh, regarding the lacing. So for each duct, we want to see uh, all geometrical distances between uh, the walls. When we have zero as a uh, geometrical distances between duct and wall, this actually means that uh, the duct and the wall intercepts. So I did say over here, when you find zero as a value, instead of zero, put 100 million as a value. Uh, why I do that? Because immediately after this node, I will check what is the minimum value for, for the distance between the ducts and walls. So I want to skip a situation that my node, which will look for the minimum item, took this zero as a value. The, the minimal distances are those. So now we need to know which indexes has the, those minimal values uh, because we need for each duct, we must find a pair and we must find the closest wall. So now when we know which wall is it's the closest, now we can take those walls. So for the duct uh, at the index zero, the closest wall is this. For the duct at index 1, the closest wall is this, and uh, for the last duct, same. We want to flatten that list, and now from one side we have closest walls, and from the other side we have our ducts. Now we need to insert a couple of blocks in order to have as an output this situation. So this node over here regarding the automatic replacement of dimension, demand from you to pair the elements for which you want to create a dimension. So I did pair those elements like this. Probably you can create this logic to be uh, with less nodes, but for me it's okay. At the end I, I have what I wanted. So for the view we can always put active view and that is okay. For the reference elements we must pair elements uh, for which we want to create dimension. And the last thing uh, which we need to deliver is a line. It's a reference line on which we want to place those dimensions. This is a genius locky node which can give you uh, for walls whichever uh, edge or reference you want to use. So because we have a lot of horizontal edges, I did say, okay, took all the edges which you have for the index zero. Then again, from this list, I again told to Dynamo that he need to use the first index or index zero. And this line is actually this line over here. Uh, I want to offset that line because I don't want to have dimension directly on the grid line, directly on the center of the wall. So I want to offset that line to be like a one meter uh, from this external side and I did offset uh, that line now that line it's a curve so if you directly connect this curve to this node over here it will not work 
basically this node will say I did expect a line and you give me the curve so I cannot work and because of that uh, you will need to convert this curve again to a line and to deliver this line to this node and after that this node will work and now the only difference I think between the walls and the grids uh, is this part over here because for uh, for the line I did use this internal logic over here active view it's active view so for the reference elements when you call a grid uh, you cannot convert the grid to a solid but you need any geometry for that grid so you can easily convert uh, grids to curve so you can provide this curve to two geometry distance and you will have some values but before you do that you will also need because all those curves uh, have that component uh, zero and in order to uh, compare a geometry uh, from the solids and from these curves you will need to translate your solids to, to zero so how i did that so we have our original solids from the ducts i did read middle elevation and i did found that the middle elevation for all ducts is 2.75 meter so and i know the distance and what is the di direction direction need to be down how we will create a vector uh, which will point to to down basically uh, if we create vector by coordinates if we put uh, zero for the x and y and minus one for the z uh, all the elements will go down and now we connect all of that to the geometry translate so we have a distance we have a vector we have geometry and that's it so we have our solids or ducts now on the zero height now we can compare that geometry with uh, grids and i think everything else uh, remain the same so on the end we must have pairs so we have duct and grid duct and grid duct and grid we will connect all of that again to this dimension by element node and uh, we will receive those dimensions and that is the entire script uh, i will try to refine uh, this script by using those custom nodes if you have any other suggestion uh, how we can create those dimensions differently you can give me feedback thanks for watching bye